Are you tired of a regular navigation drawer and you would like to create a custom one with a cool animation like this one? Stay tuned because I'm gonna teach you exactly that. After publishing my uh, horoscope application on a Play Store, lots of people asked me to share the custom navigation drawer component. So here it is, I'm gonna show you a secret. We basically have a box composable as the root element on this screen so that we can uh, stack child elements on top of each other. Inside we have a navigation drawer and then on top of that we have the actual screen. After we click the menu icon, then we are uh, animating the offset and the scale properties of the screen, after which the screen is moving on the right side, revealing the drawer component underneath. When this uh, drawer component uh, is opened, the screen on the right side will take about 30% uh, of the full screen, while the navigation drawer will take about 60% uh, of the screen width, and those 10% uh, that are left are uh, used as a spacing between them. That way, we can make sure that uh, those two will never overlap with each other. Now, let's do some coding. We are gonna create here uh, two model classes. The first one, a navigation item, which will represent a, a single item inside the navigation drawer. We will have uh, four navigation items for now, but you can add uh, as many as you need. Each item will have a title and an icon. The second model class will be a, a custom drawer state, so that we can handle the state when uh, this navigation drawer is uh, open or closed. While we are here, let's also create uh, two extension functions that we can return a true value when the current state is opened, and the other one to return the opposite value of the current drawer state. Great! Before we can create uh, a whole uh, drawer component, uh, we need to start with the smaller ones. So, create a new composable to represent uh, each navigation item inside the drawer. The first navigation item parameter will be used so that we can uh, extract uh, its icon and the title. The second selected parameter will be used to indicate whether the item is selected or not, by changing the font weight and the text color. And the last one to trigger the click lambda. After that, we are gonna create here a, a custom component for the navigation drawer. The first parameter will be to indicate which is the currently selected navigation item. We are gonna hoist that uh, state inside the parent composable later. Then we have a on navigation item click lambda, which will pass a selected navigation item up in a composable hierarchy to update the selected navigation item. Finally, on close the click lambda that will indicate that we are going to close the drawer. As I mentioned earlier, this uh, custom drawer component will take uh, up to 60% of the screen width, which is why I'm going to set here the width value to a fraction of a 0.6f. Then, on the top of the column, we have the close icon. Below that, we have the app logo. And after that, we are gonna add all our navigation items. In this case, I have decided to add the settings item on the bottom of the drawer which is why I'm going to here convert this navigation item entries to a typed array and uh, grab only the first uh, three items to be shown on the top. Then, below that, we can add a spacer with a weight modifier of a 1f, which means it will take the available space. And on the bottom, we will add the last navigation item, which is settings. As simple as that. We have uh, all components that we need, now we just need to connect the dots. So, here as you can see we have a main screen and a main content. The main screen should be a parent to both custom drawer and the main screen content. So, declare uh, two states variables on the top. The first one should be a default uh, drawer state, closed. And the second one should be a default navigation item, home. Then, we are uh, calculating a screen width, screen offset, and uh, animating scale and offset properties accordingly. Don't forget to handle the back press as well. If the drawer state is opened, while we press the back button, then we are gonna close it immediately. Below that, add a parent box composable. Then, specify navigation and a status bar padding values. The background color of the parent uh, will be slightly lighter than the surface color, so that we can uh, differentiate between uh, the drawer state and the screen. 
Inside, we are first adding a custom drawer and a screen content on top of that. The screen content should be rather simple. So, let's add here a scaffold with a navigation menu icon to open and close the drawer. Then we have a clickable modifier on the whole scaffold to be able to close the drawer if it's opened. And finally, a simple text on the center of the screen. Awesome! Lastly, pass uh, all those parameters in the call site of the main content. And here I'm gonna create here also a, a custom modifier to display a shadow when the drawer state uh, opens up. Perfect! Now I think that we can launch the application and uh, test it out. Voila! Everything here works uh, as expected. And there you go! Be sure to comment down below and let me know what you think about this uh, whole custom navigation drawer. And of course, uh, don't forget to like this video, but only if you find it helpful. Thank you for watching.